Hey everyone, it's Michael and Matt from Bullion Now or Little Coin Shop. And mostly, currently, <laughs> Little Coin Shop. I kind of feel like we're in. I was yeah, we're here to get his clothes. Yeah, we're here to get a uniform <laughs> update. So, yet again, we've nicked um, LCS's stock because it's come in here and they haven't grabbed it yet. So, we're actually going to have a sneak peek through some of this. So. Let's get a cutting before someone realises that this isn't how we should be doing it. <laughs> so for those that don't know, Little Coin Shop is actually our sister company. Um, so they... Yeah, uh, not, not entirely the enemy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they, um, they deal with all the numismatic type stuff. Um, you know, proof coins, um, PNCs. Yes. So post uh, philatelic... Numismatic covers. So that's the one. The um, whole mouthful. Or postal numismatic covers. Yeah, that's the one. And all these things that um, the bullion guys, as bullion stackers, we don't tend to focus on, but some of them are amazing. And we go, yeah, we only want to stack for for weight or for you know mass or whatever for yeah. price. But quite often they go, yeah, but I really like you know, and it's yeah. it's my birth year or it's you know my anniversary coming up or yeah. I just want the thing. Yeah. I think it looks cool. So. It's not a bad idea for us to every so often highlight some of these coins. Oh, you start with a nice one. Go with for the, it. With the, Go with on. My favourite. Yeah. Though. So this is a release from Perth Mint. This is the Hourglass. Oh, oh look at this. Young. Very slick. Very, very slick. Even the packaging, as Matt keeps saying, you know, I just love the packaging. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you see the things I have to deal with, Ruben? <laughs> <laughs> it does. You got to say, Perth Mint do an amazing job with yeah. the packaging. Yep. Um, comes with a certificate of authenticity, and then the coin itself. Now, this is where it starts to get really cool because this is this is a coin, but you can see inside a little working hourglass. So you see the granules running through the. Is this what is it? Is the grains of life? Like no. sand through the That's hourglass. The so are the days <laughs> of our lives. You can tell what you did <laughs> at university. <laughs> So, and it's, studied the finer things. You can see on the back, it, it has a value, $2. It is Tuvalu, it's not Australian, even though it is produced by the Perth Mint. Um, but these are an amazing coin. And I notice, unavailable at the Perth Mint. That did not take long at all. I think that was possibly even a day one sellout. Yeah. And across the board, that is an incredibly popular coin. I don't know if you want to close up there, Rubes, or you just want to roll to some B-roll. But it's there if you want it. We'll layer it in there. And it's also an antiqued finish. So it it's not as catastrophic to handle antiqued <laughs> coins if you were to take it out of its packaging. Which that's why, that's also to. why, yeah, don't, yeah. don't, but that's also why they don't have it in, uh, it's not encapsulated in addition to being in the, yeah. the holder there. And it's just cool. If you look around the outside, I don't know if you can get in close enough rooms, but you've got like the sun and the moon. So it's that kind of um, 24 hour theme. You know, you've got the sun rising and sun setting and the moon rising and moon setting on it. So it's, um, yeah, it's a pretty amazing coin overall. Mm. All right, what's, what have we got next, mate? You grab the next well, one. Let's have a look. For your eyes only. Ah. A film which I have never seen. Seriously? I've never seen. Nice. I, I was, I, yeah, I was la laughing with Ruben about this earlier. I haven't seen any of the Bond films. At all? At all. Have you seen any of I don't know if I should admit this. No. I've told you this. I, I almost lost my job when I told you that. Yeah, I, it was a you close You said call, it was implied but... during my interview that yeah. I was a fan. <laughs> so we don't employ anyone who's not a fan of Star Wars, yeah, mate. So I, you better I mean, get yeah, yourself snuck organized. under the radar. Well, but um, this, this isn't Star Wars. This is James Bond, obviously. So the scary thing is I remember this film coming out. It's the 40th anniversary of it. Well, uh, Roger Moore, do you rate him as a Bond? I do, actually. I don't mind the old Roger Moore. Um, you, obviously, you cannot beat Sean Connery. Pierce was the one for me, but that's because I only, I did, my only exposure to it was a Nintendo 64 game. <laughs> and what a game it was. I think I get a little bit of support in the comments. It was, it was a great game back in the day. Back in my day. <laughs> Do we want to see the other side? Oh, yeah. I suspect it'll be so, the Queen. Is the Queen on the other side? So this is the 40th anniversary, um, limited edition, I believe 5,000, yes, limited to 5,000 only. Um, I wonder why they've used the Ian Rank Broadly effigy. That's uh, not the Jodie Clark. It's not. Um, isn't that, I'm um, getting out of my depth here, but isn't that standard for the Tuvalu? Yeah, maybe they haven't updated yet. Yeah, I don't. I'll have to look into that. That's, that. That could be a fun fact once I find out the fact. <laughs> <laughs> 
a potential fun fact. <laughs> yeah. So this is part of a series they're producing for the James Bond. Uh, they started off with the Sean Connery. Oh, a little while ago. Have we still got one, Rubes, up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have two. So you've got the Sean Connery there, um, Dr. No. No Time to Die and Goldeneye. So they've had a bit of trouble with this series um, because the new releases haven't come out. So, oh, really? As in the new release films haven't come out. Oh, yeah, I um, imagine that so, would hold things up. Yeah. yeah, it's caused a bit of heartache for poor old Perth. I mean, actually, oh, good grief. I actually feel sorry for him with this... Uh, with this series, it's not gone off without a hitch like they expected. So, oh, but often, you know, when you look back, they're the things that collectors look out for. Anytime there's an issue, you know, like the uh, uh, Tokyo Olympics, yeah. coins get produced, the whole thing gets postponed. All of a sudden, everyone goes rushing back because you know it's for the event that never was. Yeah, that's right. What else have we got buried? Uh, here? More hourglasses, I think. We might need. Oh, it keeps going. Keep saying it, Perth Mint really know how to package a product. Yeah, they do. Uh, so oh, more. Oh, hey, here we go, here we go, look out. Uh, you're the tiger. Oh, these are the coloured proofs. They are indeed. Okay, I'm going to have to use two fingers on this one. There you go. And I think they're all coloured proofs. Well, if you want to get that going, I'll have a dig around and find right. out what's, go what's going on. Sounds like a plan. So all of our customers watching this would be uh, would be aware of the um, we're running through the year of the tiger at the moment. Uh, Perth Mint did the release at the start of September. Yeah, the start of September. Yeah. It's hard to think about. Yeah, we did that. a big video for it. We did, and then you'll find over the coming months the rest of the series comes out. So by the rest of the series, I mean the proofs, the coloureds, the gildeds, the high reliefs. Um, all those types of things we'll see coming through. Uh, the diamond eye, are they doing the diamond eyes or is it the sapphire oh, I eyes? I haven't seen it. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Yeah, we'll find the, uh, out and we'll do a, a big video on it. But so, I think this coloured, I think this is the, not, the nicest of the, the coloured ones. Like yeah. the, it actually really makes the tiger pop Absolutely. a lot more than the, the standard bullion design. So yeah. I'm a big fan of that from a presentation perspective. Yeah, I think I, it looks really good. Series two, I favour the gilded over the coloured. Yeah. But in series yeah. three, they really seem to be getting getting the colour into it, particularly yeah. with this tiger. Yep. yep. Um, the colour's really in there, so it's it's really good to see. And I I hate to say this, Perth Mint, but I'm actually favouring the coloureds over the gilders in series yeah. three. So um, well, we haven't seen the gilded yet. Who knows? It could haven't. be in an up up and coming I box think, here. Who knows? Uh, is it released this month or next month? I won't give anything away, Michael. Okay, well, you obviously know more than I do, <laughs> which is pretty sad because I printed out all the things. <laughs> but obviously, you read them. All right, let me move this to the side. So there's no more of That's anything that, else in that. That That's box, box is done. covered. All righty. I think this is a one-hit wonder box. It is. It's a big hit, though. This one's nice. Oh, yeah, that wasn't meant as a derogatory <laughs> term. I was just meaning there's only one type in this box. <laughs> so, let's have a squeeze. This one is part of a series. You want to give us a burst on this one, Matt? Well, if it's what I'm thinking, I haven't checked the sticker even, oh, but no. I, think, I think this may be the fifth and final release in an incredibly popular series. And this is one that, when people have even been, you know, doing a click and collect and they see this in the little display cabinet because it's just in the walkway, it's such a pretty coin. It is. The whole series is. I don't know. Rubes, if you can, am I in your way? I've said it once. I'll say it again. How about this box? <laughs> I had a conversation with someone on the phone about this recently and they oh, said, really? yeah, I actually, I completely agree. The, the packaging on these is really, really something else they do yeah. a great job with it so let's have a bit of a proper look all right so the fifth and final release oh you got upside down he's upside mate. down so if it's the fifth what are the other four in release order oh in release <laughs> order all right the first was a kangaroo the second was a koala the third was a dingo very good and then there was a Tassie Devil. <laughs> He's good. Easy. He did it. No problem. Oh, uh, well done. <laughs> Never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Don't you hate it when people throw curveballs at you? Yes, Did you want some more one. footage on that? Yeah. Or are we moving on? Yeah. Beautiful. All right, well, that, that was that one. And that is, that's capped off the set nicely. You've got a nice little uh, array of colours there if you get the entire set. Yeah. I feel like, who knows, maybe when the time comes and I've, I'm setting up a nursery, get the little five <laughs> coin set up above, safely secured up above the cot. Yeah. Could be a bit cute. I think it's also a good one for um, for presents for overseas. Yeah. Particularly uh, at the moment. Because obviously they can't come and see them for themselves. You I think I've up, got upside that upside down. down yeah, Mr. back James. to front. Gee whiz. Mate, we're on fire today, aren't we? This is a no blood channel, mate. Oh, this is a much better knife. So you set me up with the blunt one in the past. Uh, we wouldn't do a thing like yeah, that. Let the record show, I'm an expert. We'll uh, see if we get any comments uh, about how you're stressing people out. About Paul Workman being his <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Ah, this what are is going to be a citizenship dollar. Yeah. Now, these are great um, for presents for people who are, you know, getting their Australian citizenship for the first time. I don't know if you can get it for a second time. I don't know either, but they certainly seem to be one of those things that run all, all throughout the entire year. Yeah. It's just something that even the even for collectors, people like to pick these up and just have a a whole set of them. What I wonder, this is the 2022 citizenship coin. Yep. What I wonder is if the 2021 will be a key um, collector year because there hasn't been as many people applying for citizenship in 2021 for obvious reasons. This so is the true. Sales yeah. on them have been down this year. Um, don't have hard stats from Perth Mint yet. We'll find out. That could be an interesting one. Because mm. it's so. often those things that, yeah, you don't think about at the time afterwards. You yeah. know, like we were saying about the Olympics. You know, the Tokyo Olympics. Yeah. I, I really do... <laughs> I'm leaning towards the 21 particularly, but the 20 to a degree, but not as much. But the mm. 21 and possibly the 22 yeah. as being the kind of the key years around them because of, you know, the, the obvious limitations. For, yeah, for obvious reasons, yeah. So... All right. Oh, this is a mixed bag, mate. I might yeah. take all of these. Yeah, out. you might have to. There you yeah. go. Put them over here on the other bench. Oh, I forgot that there's another. There's a main event here as well. Oh. I, lo I love it. Hold off. Go here first. I, <laughs> I, I really like doing an LCS unboxing. They get all sorts of fun stuff, don't they? Yeah, it's, it's a good time. I should stop saying they and say start saying we, shouldn't I? Because yeah, we are going to migrate this over to its own channel, I think. So this is the three coin lunar set. So it's not. Hang on, I'll get this the wrong way around. Mm. This is the three coin, not the trio, or this is the trio and not the three coin. I'm going to call it the. Uh, this is the trio. Yeah, this is the trio. <laughs> the uh, the three coin set was the two ounce, the one ounce, and the half ounce. Yep. Not to be confused with the trio. Which is a different set of three. <laughs> yeah. But is th the, this yeah. is these are always such a popular set as well. You yeah. get the whole You're gonna have to get Ruben Roll on this, I think. Yeah, get the um, whole family in there. To get the proper lighting on it. But this is and it even to a degree shows it here where this is this is the proof which is almost bullion like. Um it's a mirror finish as opposed to the um, matte finish of the mm. of the bullion one. And then you've got the coloured. Um, where those colours, particularly on the tiger, they're really popping out. And then you've got the gilded, which is the one that we mentioned earlier, which is um, a, a very thin veneer. So don't buy it for its gold content. <laughs> yeah. It's a very thin veneer of gold over the top of the animals itself. And while I, while I actually, I prefer the gilded over the plain because it, it actually brings the detail of the tiger out with the striping and mm. that sort of stuff, I still think the... In the Series 3, the colour is popping far more than the Gilded. It is, is. yeah. I so, think they've really refined their... They've obviously refined their coloured... Uh, the applications or... Ha what, whatever they're using to do it mm. is uh, of a really high standard. Reminiscent of the Canadian Mint, I yeah. would even suggest. Yeah. Yeah. But it's... um, Yeah, they've done a great job. It, it's not that the Gilded is necessarily bad. It's just no, no, really, not at all. They've really upgraded the uh, The coloured, the colored, yep. Um, so this is a great way to get one of each if you're chasing um, the three of the uh, the numismatic ones um, yep. in the single ounce. So do you know the mintage numbers on the, the trios, like the production number on the trio? I think it was about 1,500. 1,500 is pretty standard for yeah. those. Yeah. 
Um, so they are, to, to get them, I think I've done it again. It's also worth noting with these, with these boxes, they actually make for a great way <clears throat> of displaying your, your set of coins in, in the box. There's yeah. a thin, there's probably on, there, yeah, there'll I be a can... thin layout. No, there's a, they used to, I don't know if they still do. Oh, there's the like plastic. a, yeah, it's like a protective, yeah. almost the like when you get a brand new phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So people have seen that and they said, oh, the, the, the box is a bit, a bit uh, opaque. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit, uh, not entirely clear, but you peel that off and you've got a beautiful transparent box. Yeah. So it does make for a very good display. So again, um, only 1,500 of them available. They, they don't sell out instantly, but they do sell out fairly quickly. So if you, mm. you, you want that display one and you, you're going for the trio, as in the three coin set. Um, no, I can't say it that way. Yeah. <laughs> the three coin set's different. <laughs> But yeah, grab them, uh, <laughs> grab them earlier rather than later if you're if you're after that sort yep. of stuff. All three coins in this trio set. Yeah. <laughs> you, know the, you know the three coin set, and I'm meaning the three yeah, coin, the yeah. half, the one, and the two. That's the two ounce that it's in there. It's almost the only way to get hold of the two ounce. Proof. Ah, it is. Yeah, they don't produce it in any other production. Whereas yeah. they do with the half and the ones. So, um, and I say almost because this time or this series, they're reserving. A very limited number, and we still don't know what it's actually for, do we? No, um, we of, don't. Of the production. So it might end up being something with like the Australia Post impressions or something. Yeah, I, I don't know what they're doing with it. Guess so what this is. This is the one. This is the highlight. This, uh, <laughs> I always like these unboxings, and then. Ta da! All right. Once again, get a load of the box. <laughs> Beautiful. We. I don't know if this one's going to be released before the other video that we did yesterday or not. So yesterday we did the unboxing of the gold version of this. Um, it's a one kilo gold coin, and it's valued at it, it's valued over a, a, what was one hundred and nine thousand. One hundred and nine thousand um, dollars. So if if we have released it, look for the link above. Yeah. Um, if we haven't released it, uh, keep your it'll eye be out. in the related videos. <laughs> hopefully, it'll be released very very soon. All but right, the so. gold one is one of ten, so incredibly ultra exclusively rare. They did produce a silver one, which is what this one is. And Matt and I were talking about this off camera. Um, so earlier on, was it today? Or it might have even been yesterday we were talking about this in, with regards to the other video. Yeah. Um, where this is only one of 250 silver kilo coins. Yeah. And I actually don't know. Do we ever come up with any other kilo coin that's such a limited mintage? For Not the off the mint? top of my head. You did ask me that if I could think of something with such a limited mintage, but... Nothing comes to mind immediately, and as a result, I think this is quite a compelling coin, this one. Yeah, I don't think... you got to remember with Perth Mint, okay, they've produced 250, which sounds like a lot, but is really nothing. Uh, but when you take into account that 90% of those, at least, instantly went overseas. So you're probably only talking somewhere between 10 and 25 of these have remained in the country. Um, so they are incredibly, incredibly exclusive for a silver product. And I would argue, although people are going to um, disagree with me online, I would argue that the uh, premium on them is, for a kilo proof coin, is negligible. Then, ta-da! So we've got to get some... Ruben roll of that. We will indeed. So it, it's called an incused coin. Um, now you want to tell us why it's incused, mate? Yeah, so the the um, the portion of the coin that has the design has been lowered slightly. So you have, you get, particularly on birds in particular, the, the feathers in the wings, you get that extra sort of layer of depth, which creates, you, and you'll see it when it catches the light as well. It gets that kind of shimmer, mm -hmm. which makes it, it, yeah, it's almost like a lifelike, portrait of the of the wedge-tailed eagle. I also did not know that wedge-tailed eagles can have a wingspan of up to 2.7 meters. Yeah, I do. Cuz I got stuck on the back of a motorbike once with one. What? <laughs> and it hit a power line and we were bringing it back to um, take it to the vet and I had to sit on the back of the bike with this flaming great wedge-tailed eagle and what? talons on it like this. It was I feel one like of this the is the scariest a... bike rides I've ever been on. <laughs> this is a real hard point of the unboxing. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. There you go. Here's me just reading facts no. on our fact sheets. You've got a well, lived, e them. Yeah. <laughs> lived experience. Well, what happens when you grow up in the bush? But yeah, it was a particularly uh, t 
terrifying motorbike ride, not only with my older brother driving the bike, but me holding <laughs> one of these lethal things in my arms. Oh, what a guy. Um, but yeah, so speaking of the design, um, it's a John McCanty design, which the Americans will all know. The Australians may not be so familiar with, but John McCanty is, I think I called him a demigod the other day on, yeah. the, on the video. Yep. So he's right up there with um, with all-time best coin designers in the world. Yeah. Um, has he retired or is he close to... I've probably just he's insulted no him. No, no, no. He's no longer the chief engraver for the US Mint. He okay. retired from that role, I think, in maybe 2010, 2012. Yeah, so okay. he did that for, I think, about a four-year stint. And then... I think he's just still been keeping himself busy ever since. Yeah, but he really is so like one of the the premier designers. Yeah. Um, so anything that is produced by him, it's it's like oh, I'm trying to think of an artist, and I don't work in the art world, so yeah. I really have no clue. But um, it, he's he's a world renowned coin artist. Yeah, absolutely. So getting any of his productions, particularly something in with such a limited production here of two hundred and fifty. Yeah. Um, and this, is, this design has been a hit worldwide. I've even noticed on some of the international interviews that I've done recently, that design popping up in collections here and there. So it yeah. certainly gets a look in uh, all over the world. I think that's a great coin to finish this one on, Matt. Yeah, it is. I, it's all tied together <laughs> nicely. The, you know, the, the past two days of filming unboxings, it's all, it's all meant to be. All right. So the pick of all this that we've, we've just <laughs> unboxed, yeah. What is the pick of them for your collection? Just, just fun, not not investment. Just fun. What, for what would you fun, grab? Fun. The hourglass. The hourglass is fun. It's different. It's it's a bit unusual. Yeah. Um, but and that is purely for fun. Not not even necessarily for my. It wouldn't hit my collector itch. Yeah. Because it doesn't fit. Uh, for my collector itch, it'd be the trio, the tiger trio. Yeah. Because that's tying in with the lunar series and. You get one of each. I don't. Once I've got that, I don't have to chase anything. But I probably will still get some other fractions in the series. And yeah, that'd be my pick in that regard. What about you? Yeah, look, I agree. I think for fun, I'd go for the hourglass because I, I, I actually do love those. The hourglass, the compass, the um, the, the abacus. abacus. Yeah. There's been a couple of others in, yeah. in that ilk. I don't know if they're part of a series. I've never really looked that closely. Yeah. But they're certainly part of a similar design. Um, but actually, for the collection, I'd actually be looking at the the 007. I think that's a bit oh, of a sleeper yeah. because yep. it's had such a, a stop start kind of release yeah. and around it. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. That one's got me. That and uh, believe it or not, the, the citizenship coin. Yeah. I'm wondering about that one. All right. I think this one's an obvious question for me anyway. But from an investment perspective, of these, which would you grab? Yeah, the absolutely. wedge-tailed eagle would be the walk-up start, as far as I'm concerned. I think that's just incredible. Um, such a popular design in all in all sizes, in any form it comes in, it it just goes. So to have it in such an incredible format like that, and then again referencing the other video, the gold is just incredible. So even <laughs> just handling that stuff gets me a bit giddy. Um, so that and I think the. Dreaming Down Under as a full set in time yep. will be something that becomes quite highly sought after. I yeah, think, okay. you know, down the line, um, the fact that it was only a five coin set, it's manageable um, and it has that half ounce accessibility. I think that'll be a good one as well. Yeah, okay. I've got to say, I'm totally all over this. Yeah. It's, it's a kilo size coin, which I love because it gives that extra size. So it gives you the extra design the extra pop of yeah. the feature the fact that like you said it's incused so the feathering is really really standing out yeah um, i love to get a john mccanty um you know any of his designs are just so good but the fact that you're getting one of 250 yeah. or if you can afford the gold and go for the one in 10 yep um and then you dilute it down even further by saying well um most of it goes it. overseas. Yeah, yeah, by saying most of it's overseas, so you're probably batting in a field of one to ten to one to twenty-five somewhere in there. Yeah, um, I think that's a that's a shoe in. So I reckon that's the one that I would be grabbing out for an investment perspective. Totally agree, a winner indeed, and just makes for a beautiful display. Yeah, absolutely, and it does. We haven't opened the um, the display box, the outer shipper, but inside is a wooden presentation box, I think. I Please tell one... me it's exactly the same as the... Uh... Nah, I don't think it will be. I'll tell you in a second. I suspect. I'm vaguely organised with the paperwork. If I can get him open. Can I oh. get in trouble for... No, it's not. You're correct. 
So this is housed in a classic display case with the Illustrated Shipper. So I guess for 109 grand you'd expect wood. Yeah, <laughs> Whereas, absolutely. I think these, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, they're about $2,500. Yep. Yeah, 2455 is the standard um, recommended retail on it. There you go. So the coin just sits in there. Away you go. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? No, it's been a great unboxing. I've it missed has. it. Well, it's been a while since we've done a big LCS yeah. session like this. So, I've, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. A lot of fun. <laughs> so I, I hope everyone enjoys watching them, obviously. But it's like, they're a lot <laughs> of fun to make. So, All righty. Yeah. So like, share, subscribe, all the good things. Um, head over to littlecoinshop.com.au and uh, have a look. You should be able to see everything that's on here. Um, you can call in here if you want to talk to someone. So one three hundred eighty four eighty four ten, and Sylvia will be able to redirect your call into Little Coin Shop. Um, look out for the Little Coin Shop YouTube um, channel. It is starting. This may even be one of the first videos on it if we do a co-release with them. Um, also, stand by. I know they've just taken a delivery of PNCs, the philatelic numismatic coins. That's it. No, um, fun. <laughs> and uh, it's from um, quite a, a varied range of years and designs. So stay tuned for that one if uh, PNCs float your boat. That's it from me. And from me. All right, we'll see you next time. See ya.